And now the 10 year old boy was bitten by a shark in the Bahamas. He's back home in Maryland this morning recovering from surgery. Victor Akendo has the story. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, George. That boy was transported to the U.S. just after midnight. This morning, we're hearing from a witness describing a chaotic and bloody scene, saying that this boy's mother kept a level head, jumped right into action, and treated her son on the spot. Overnight, that 10 year old boy, bitten by a shark in the Bahamas, back in the U.S., airlifted to a hospital in his home state of Maryland. This morning, we're hearing from another tourist who saw the aftermath of the attack. Everyone was fracked at trying to figure out what was going on. It was very chaotic right then. The boy was bitten on the right leg while participating in an expedition in a shark tank at a local resort on Paradise Island, according to police. There was a lot of blood. The mom was a hero. She jumped right into action. She started wrapping towels around him, kind of probably doing tourniquet style, and um, and got him in into, you know, at least helping with the bleeding. Law enforcement sources telling ABC News the incident took place at the Atlantis Resort, where guests can walk on the bottom of the shark exhibit operated by Stuart Cove, as seen in this video posted to the resort's Facebook page. Doctors Hospital in the Bahamas saying in a statement the boy successfully underwent surgery before being airlifted back to the United States. The owners of the excursion say they are deeply saddened by the attack and tell ABC News, we have begun a thorough internal investigation and are fully cooperating with the authorities. Incidents like this involving interactions with marine life, even with these species of sharks included in this experience, are rare and never acceptable. Now, Bahamian lawmakers asking how safe these types of experiences really are. We'll be looking at regulations that might uh, impact activities involving sharks, etc. Experts say maintaining a safe distance is key. I think you need to be very careful whenever you're putting people in a resort type of facility uh, with quote unquote wild animals. There need to be protocols in place that first of all, establish a safe barrier between you and that animal. Because at the end of the day, there's an old saying that says the only thing predictable about wild animals is that they're unpredictable. And the company that operates this shark experience said that it is closed as they investigate. Atlantis has not commented on this incident. Guys. All right, then. Thank you, Victor. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.